Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, Nick Collier here again, and uh, today we're in the jewelry section of my shop. And the reason why is because uh, I have a trade going with my with my local acupuncturist, and she loves my jewelry, and I love getting acupuncture. Well, I don't exactly love it, but you know, hey, it's it's a necessary thing, and it works, especially for the things that I'm dealing with. Um, acupuncture doesn't really work well for broken arms and uh, auto accidents, but it works great for uh, chronic things that are, you know, little chronic things that can be dealt with. Um, so anyhow, so she bought this ring from me, and I'll give you a, show, a close up picture of it. She bought this ring from me, oh, uh, I don't know, about a, three or four months ago, and, uh, and we got it sized for and everything, and she wore it for about, a, oh, I don't know, a month or so, and says, you know what, it's just not thick enough. It needs to be a little bit thicker. Uh, width wise so we're gonna add a couple of bands to it to kind of widen it up a little bit and uh, hey follow along we're gonna have some jewelry fun today okay because I buy most of my metal in this uh, 8 gauge um, or I think this might be 10 gauge round wire and then I just shape the wire however I need it gold is very flexible in that way we're going to Take this piece of wire, and I've already flattened one edge there, and we're gonna get ourselves the uh, draw plate that's half round. And we'll push, put the, uh, the gold in the draw plate, and then we'll take um, our uh, draw pliers, which are right here, and they kinda got a nice little grip so you can pull, and, uh, and the, the face of the pliers has this kind of cross hatching in it that grabs the gold really well. And we're gonna pull it through three times. One, two, three. And then the gold is too hard to do anything with at that point. So then we come back and anneal the gold just by heating it up to about cherry red and then letting it cool down on its own. And then go three more times, however many times we need in order to make it, oh, about the same size as the shank here. I'm, I don't wanna make it just a little bit smaller because we don't want this ring to be too wide, but I'm thinking about, oh, maybe a little bit bigger than this, this split part right there. So we're gonna go back out into the shop because I don't have a good vise in here, and we're gonna pull this down, and uh, we will be right back. Okay, so we put this in the vise, and we put it in fairly close to the, uh, to the part we're going to pull through so that we don't end up bending this piece of steel. Now this is pretty hard, uh, high grade steel, but it will still bend. So we just put it in and get it close. And I should have some wax, but I'm not going to use it this first pull. Get a good grip and a good stance and pull it through. There's one. We'll come up one more. There's two and one more. This is these are pretty easy pulls because we're just basically reshaping the metal. We're not trying to to uh, make it smaller. Ugh, that one's a little harder. Okay, that's three pulls. We're gonna go in and heat this up. Okay, pretty simple deal. We come in with a pair of or a, with a torch. First, we have to get gas in the line. It's been a while since I've uh, done any jewelry. There we go. Uh, and then we got to get some oxygen in the line. And then, so I can see it better, I turn the light off and uh, just start warming this baby up. Ah, there we go. A nice dull red. 
And what's, what that does is it just takes the gold and the uh, alloy molecules and just relaxes them. All right, good enough. Take a tweezers and yeah you can see the color just disappears okay we got it trimmed down basically I just sharpened it like you would sharpen a pencil so that it will fit through the hole and have enough room on on the other side so I can grab it and pull it through now um, you know I could have filed it out here but that's gold so even the littlest amount of gold is worth saving so uh, I took it back inside and gave it a uh, work over inside. All right, let's a little more wax. We'll find our flat. We're going to slide it into the hole. We got just enough to grab onto. Okay. And you can see, sometimes it doesn't want to pull through. We're going to get it down closer to the, to the base, for one. And actually, you know what, let's do it this way. That supports it better. Okay, ready? Uh, okay. And then one more, which would be three. And it doesn't look like... It's going to make it. We're going to have to file it. Yeah, that was two. Number three, not quite making it. So we're going to go file it and then we'll uh, heat it up again too while we're in the end. All, right. <clears throat> All right, so we've taken our straight shank here, half round, and we bent it around the, uh, the, uh, mandrel and we did just a bit of an arch here and we tried to do a sharper arch on the other side let me show you how it, uh, how it came out let's see here there it is right there sharper arch on oops wait a second we tried to make that arch there but the metal just wouldn't do it. So uh, we made a, an, a small arch, just a little dinky one here, out of another piece. And we're going to drop that into place. And let's see if I can get it to lay in there so you can see what it's going to look like. Well, no. Something like that. And that will complete the circle. So at this point, and it looks like it's a little bit big, so we're going to go ahead and file that down. And the best way i found to do something that small is to grab it with a pliers. And we're going to take it over to the gold table. Oh, hey, follow me over there. Not quite at the gold table. There we go. And we're just going to take it down a tad more so it'll fit in that gap because that gap is exactly eight and a quarter, which is the size of uh, a ring she has. Okay, a little bit more. See what that looks like. And just put it on my hand here like this. And drop that in. It's still pretty wide. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm still going to have trouble. I think I'm going to just cut the rest of it off because it's, it's a good eighth of an inch wide. Let's see what that looks like. Come on. Okay, that's that's better. That's more like it. All right, we're going to take this over to the uh, the welding table, and we're going to weld up one side, and then bend everything so that it matches, and then weld up the other side. Okay, so we've got one arm holding the small piece, and the other arm holding the ring, and uh, we've got a single little matchup on this side right here. Let me point that out to you, right there. So we're going to take, uh, since this is the first time it's being welded, there's three kinds of solder. Hard solder, medium solder, and easy solder, which means that the hard solder melts at a high temperature, the medium solder melts at a medium temperature, and the low solder, of course, <coughs> at a low temperature. Alright, we're going to put just a little bit of flux right on that joint. We've got our little chip of solder. Fire it up. And a pair of little mini tweezers. There's the solder right in place. Just heat this baby up until everybody is about the right temperature and that solder will just melt and go right into place. There it goes. Just like it's supposed to. We're going to take it over and quench it. Put it in the water. So we got half of it in, and the other half we have to we have to first uh, adjust the ring or the band so that it'll fit good around that. And that doesn't look bad. That looks pretty good actually. So uh, you can't see it because uh, you can't get close enough, but. Uh, if you might be able to see a little bit of it, I'm going to point this out to you. If I could find a pointer, there we go. If you look underneath here, you'll see that the band goes this way, and this band is kind of, kind of kinked up. So I'm going to grab the two bands, and see how that one is there? It's kind of bent off kilter. We're going to grab the other band with this pliers. No, these are too thick. Mm, maybe these might do the trick. And just bend everybody so that they match up better. Yep, that's going to do just fine. And there's a reasonable match. Now the problem is, is that the angle is slightly off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. And we're going to go in with, with a file. And change that angle just a little bit. Probably that's it. No, a little bit more. That's better. That's going to be a good good match. So then I bend it beyond, and then it kind of springs back. 
and then bring it back and bend it over and there we go right there and that looks good looks good on the bottom all right we're going to take it back over to the bench and weld that other side and see if what we come up with uh, i'm looking at it and i'm thinking whoa if this is eight and a half we are way off now it's seven and a half so hopefully this will all work out all right let's see how things came out here first thing we want to do is check and see what size we are and we're at seven and three quarters and it looks pretty good we're just going to tap it just a little bit So there's eight and a quarter right there. And that looks pretty good. We got just a little bit of a bend. Now let's see how this is gonna fit in here. And that looks pretty good. I think that's just about what she wanted. Yeah. All right. Let's take some files to it. Okay, so we've got our piece here. Now we're just going to throw a quick polish on it. All right, let's see what it looks like. And we're gonna come in here and that ring's gonna slide right around the corner there. And that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna show this to her just like it is and see if she likes it. And she said to put a band on both sides and we can do that, but this is starting to get pretty thick and I'm thinking this just might be enough for her. And if not, we'll just do a second one. So uh, I got to take this into town and, uh, and we're going to, you know, go from there.